in the 2020 to 2021 academic year, I will not be making any revision videos about Macbeth. Simply put, a different Shakespeare play was requested more often down in the comments section of my videos and also over on my Instagram. And, well, I'm just one guy, so there's only so many videos I could be making at any given point whilst working full-time on my PhD as well. But I did not want to leave you lot without any support, and so I've been researching, reading, and having a good old think, and I've come up with a list of five resources that I think you need to know if you want some additional support when it comes to studying or revising Shakespeare's Scottish play. But what are they? Let's find out. Okay, so the five resources that I will be telling you about in this video fall under three broad categories. There are two books I recommend that you read, a website I suggest that you use, and two types of videos that I recommend you watch as you are revising Macbeth. This is also the rough order that we're going to be following in this video. So first of all, I'll be telling you about those two books, then the website, and then the video recommendations to end. So, Let's begin by having a think about those two books that I think you'll find really helpful as you are studying or revising Shakespeare's Scottish play. I know that loads of you really do quite like my revision videos because I go over key quotations, analyse them in quite a bit of depth, and say how they might be relevant to context as well. To be honest, this is exactly the sort of thing that Dan Smith covers in his book Macbeth, 25 Key Quotations for GCSE. Now, I've actually bought my own copy of the book, and I've flicked through it quite a bit already, and I must admit, I really like the methodical way Smith sets it out. As you can probably guess from the title, he covers 25 quotations from across the play. But more than this, he notes which themes and characters the quotations are relevant to, discusses the techniques that they contain, makes structural comments, links to context, and loads more. There's even a handy summary of the play, and a glossary of useful terms too. In short, I strongly recommend that you give this book a go. It really does have the dystopia junkie seal of approval. What's more, Smith even has his own YouTube channel, Teach Smith, which contains loads of really helpful GCSE English revision videos, which are really, really thorough and really helpful as well, so why not subscribe to that too? The second book that I would recommend is Ready to Teach Macbeth by Stuart Pryke and Amy Staniforth. Now, you're probably thinking, but Dystopia Junkie, the title mentions teaching, so why are you recommending it to me? And although you are right in noticing that the book is aimed more at teachers to help them with their subject knowledge and to help inform their lessons, I actually think this is going to be a great resource for those of you who are looking to get grade 7 or higher. You see, alongside some more pedagogical sections, so sections focused on the art of teaching, ideas about lessons, etc., you are also going to find loads and loads and loads of brilliant analysis about Macbeth. Now, this book is quite academic at times, but that is not a bad thing, as the essays included in this volume are incredibly thorough, not just because they analyse sections, lines, or sometimes even individual words from Shakespeare's play in fine detail, but also because they always take the time to add in how and why that might be relevant to the play's various contexts. In the first chapter alone, which focuses on the play's opening scene and the characters of the three witches, there are a few different essays that look at what Elizabethans believed in with regards to witches and why, providing some really helpful insights that you're going to find tricky to find elsewhere. If you can overlook the fact that this book is more clearly aimed at teachers in some places, this could be an absolutely vital resource for those of you studying Macbeth at GCSE level, especially those of you looking to get grades 7, 8 or 9. Now I said I was going to recommend a website to you lot, 
Well, that website is none other than the Macbeth pages over at No Fear Shakespeare, which is itself a Sparknotes product. Now, this website has got pages that analyse each of the play's scenes, main characters, and major themes, all of which is obviously going to be very helpful. It also houses a graphic novel version of Macbeth, which might be beneficial to those of you who prefer something a bit more visually stimulating whilst you are revising. What's more, it even features a scene-by-scene -scene translation of Shakespeare's play. It is this aspect that I think really sets No Fear Shakespeare apart from any of the other resources that I'm mentioning in this video. Let's not beat around the bush. Shakespeare's language is tricky. He uses words in different ways to us, sometimes orders them in ways that seem somewhat confusing, and his constant use of puns just makes everything all that bit more complicated, really. This is where the translation helps. You see, by having a line-by-line -line translation of Shakespeare's play, we can more clearly see what Shakespeare was saying, and which words and phrases are having particular effects. That's only going to help you when it comes to writing your analytical paragraphs, but you really must remember though, you've got to analyse Shakespeare's words, not the modern translation. And now for some video recommendations. As I said earlier, I didn't want to completely deprive you lot of videos to be using as you're studying or revising Macbeth, and to be honest, I do feel pretty guilty about not making any content about the Scottish play myself. As such, I have scoured YouTube and found other content creators who have produced some really good quality revision materials that I think you're going to find really helpful. In no particular order, the content creators that I recommend you watch if you're looking for Macbeth videos in the 2020-2021 academic year are as follows. So, first of all, there is Mr. Bruff, who has a 66 video playlist on Macbeth. Now, I'm sure I don't need to tell you too much about Mr. Bruff, because you'll probably have already heard about him, but he really is a phenomenal content creator and educator, so if you've not watched any of his videos before, I do recommend you give them a go. Secondly, I recommend Dr. Aiden, who has a small selection of videos that look at the themes of Macbeth and also a mini-series about iambic pentameter, which you might also find comes in handy as you study the Bard's play. Thirdly, I recommend Stacey Ray, who also has a pretty thorough playlist that covers various aspects of Macbeth. Some of her videos are super quick as well, which might be helpful for those of you who like to get in some last-minute cramming. And finally, I'd recommend Mr. Sally's Teachers English, who has a handful of playlists that cover Macbeth in various ways. He has some videos looking at themes and characters, some looking at individual quotations, and some that offer up some golden nuggets. Watching his videos will definitely be beneficial, I am sure. Hopefully pointing you in the direction of those content creators will go some way to compensate for the fact that I am not personally making any Macbeth content in the 2020-2021 academic year. Although I do hope that maybe some point in the future I will be able to eventually get round to covering the Scottish play. If you do decide to watch any of those content creators' videos, then be sure to leave them a comment letting them know that it was me, Dystopia Junkie, who sent you their way. And my last recommendation to you lot is that you go ahead and watch a really good quality version of Macbeth. Now at the time that I'm recording this video, there is a really excellent version of the play over on YouTube. Now it is a Royal Shakespeare Company production from 1979 that features Sir Ian McKellen as Macbeth and Dame Judi Dench as Lady Macbeth. So, you know, Gandalf from Lord of the Rings and M from several James Bond films. Or one of the many creepy cats from... Cats. Anyway, the reason why I recommend this video is because it is super close to the original Shakespearean text. Loads of film adaptations of Macbeth change scenes, add new scenes entirely, or alter some lines. All of which, I'm sure you'll agree, just makes things more confusing, especially if you're studying or revising Macbeth for the first time. Now, if you do decide to watch this video, 
don't just sit there idly and drift in and out and only pay attention sometimes. Instead, have your copy of the play out and open in front of you as you watch and make sure to follow along. If the actors say their lines in a particularly emotive way, are they, for instance, super angry, super happy, incredibly tender, confused or scared, make sure you take notes of that on your copy of the play. Adding an idea of the emotions behind a character's dialogue might be something that really helps you out when it comes to analysing Shakespeare's text. Alright, so those are my five recommendations. To summarise, I suggest that you read Dan Smith's Macbeth, 25 Key Quotations for GCSE, and also Pryke and Staniforth's Ready to Teach Macbeth. I also suggest that you have a look at the No Fear Shakespeare website, especially its modern translation of the play, and watch some videos, either by excellent edutubers like Mr Bruff, Dr Aidan, Stacey Ray, and Mr Sally's Teachers English, or a really good quality version of the play, such as the 1979 RSC version. As I mentioned earlier, I do feel guilty that I won't be making Macbeth videos in the 2020-2021 academic year, as quite a few of you have requested that I make them, and so I know that I will ultimately be letting some of you down. Hopefully the recommendations I've made in this video will go some way to making up for that, as I genuinely do believe that they are an absolutely fabulous bunch of resources that are going to really, really help you out as you study and revise Shakespeare's Scottish play. Cheers.